Jim Clouk, a.k.a. Checker Pro Joe here on the Checker Pro Radio Show. We get calls all the time from people who listen and watch the radio program. And my job is to make sure you, the listener and viewer, are getting the answers you need for your home improvement questions. That's why I ask James Laws to join me here on the program on a regular basis. He is a soft wash expert. Hey, James, how are you doing? Great, Jim. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. All right. So there's soft wash and pressure washing. And some people, especially in your industry, say, hey, be careful. Soft washing is the way to go, not pressure washing. So is there a big difference between the soft wash and the pressure wash? And is soft washing superior to pressure washing? Great questions, Jim. Uh, you know, soft washing and pressure washing, um, both kind of have their applications. Um, and it really depends on the need uh, on which you're looking to have done. Um, if you're just doing a, just a simple maintenance clean on your, your home or business, uh, you know, a soft washing is, is probably the preferred method. Uh, now, if you're gonna, if you're doing some sort of uh, restoration or just, you need to uh, repaint the entire property, uh, then we may want to look at maybe doing some pressure washing or depending on the surfaces, we may use pressure washing there. But overall, uh, in almost 90 to 95 percent of the time, soft washing is is probably the better choice to go with. It, it's it's safer. It's gentler. Uh, it, it, the clean is going to last four to six times longer than with just pressure washing alone. Pressure washing really works with or without any cleansers. I mean, the pressure of the water can really take the mold off. It can take the algae off, at least as far as our eye can tell. Soft wash is a little different, though. You're using chemicals such as bleach and other products in there to actually help the soft wash system work. Can you explain how that works? Absolutely. Uh, you know, pressure washing, um, it, it's almost like cutting your grass. You're really just kind of like lopping it off at the top. You're just you're just chopping off at the top and you're not really treating the, the root cause. You're not getting down to the roots. Uh, whereas as far as soft washing, you're with the, the solutions that we're using with our surfactants and our, uh, you know, uh, sodium hypochlorite uh, that we, we use, you're actually getting down deep into those pores of the surfaces to kill or and and treat it at the source at the roots and that's really important um and it really goes against what a lot of people think they're like hey the more pressure the stronger it is the cleaner it's going to be not necessarily the case correct no that's not the not true at all you know the the more pressure you have the the more damage you're going to cause and uh you you're going to end up uh, spending more money repairing uh, parts of your home or the exterior uh, than you really want to be doing. Yeah. You know, concrete's one thing you have a little bit of room there. You can pressure wash there and there's a little less loss, but when you're talking about stucco and your roof and your wood siding, um, anything tile, you really have to be careful because you can literally blow it up. It, that is very true. Um, and even concrete, uh, you know, I know a lot of people think, oh, you know, I've got, uh, I'll just keep pressure washing my concrete. Well, you know, you keep repeatedly pressure washing and pressure washing, uh, you'll start to see some of that aggregate uh, become exposed and mm -hmm. that concrete, uh, which I've seen quite a few times. Uh, so I still prefer to, to soft wash uh, flat surfaces, uh, concrete um, over pressure washing. But there is the need for pressure washing in some instances. James, thank you so much for stopping by the Checker Pro Radio Show today. I love having you on as the expert in terms of soft wash. Thank you, Jim. It's great to, to be here.